Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kajwa Mithasan, a final year student in RUET. Well, in this video, we are going to learn how to classify the fashion MNIST dataset by using CNN, which means convolutional neural networks. Well, if you are new here, I am highly suggesting you to check my previous video on MNIST digit classification using normal neural networks. I'm, I'm providing the link in the description box. Please do check that. Well, let's start. Well, first I'm importing all the necessary file libraries. You can see that I'm importing the TensorFlow, the NumPy, the Pandas, the Matchplotlib, and finally from Keras I'm importing the datasets, models, and layers. On the next cell, I'm, I'm dividing the dataset into four parts, which is training images, training labels, test images and test levels. So I have already downloaded the dataset. Well, let's see what this dataset says. Well, if I search on Google about fashion names data, you will see this kind of results. Let's go into this. Well, it says that the fashion image dataset consisting of a training set of 60,000 examples and test set of 10,000 examples. Each sample is 28 into 28 grayscale images associated with the level from 10 classes. So you can see that our input size will be 28 into 28 and we have 10 classes. So I hope you get, got some idea about the data set. Let's move back into our notebook. Well, here's, the, here's something new that we have to understand. You can see that train, I am reshaping the data. So you can see that uh, in the training images, I'm reshaping the data into 60,000, 28, 28, 1. So why I am reshaping that? Well, that's because the first convolution expects a single tensor containing everything. So instead of 60,000 items in a list, we have a single 40 list that have 60,000 into 28 into 28 into 1 and the same for the test images. If we are not doing this, then it will give us some kind of errors. So let's run it. Well, now let's normalize them. Well, I have talked about the normalization in my previous video. Please do take that. Well, now we have to define our model. If you saw my previous video, then you are very known to this, this cell. So, what we are doing here is that we are defining some convolutions. 64 means the number of convolutions we are defining. And the 3, 3 means the size of the convolution network. And the activation function is the ReLU and the input shape is 28, 28, 1. Well, in the next layer, this is called the max pooling layer. In this layer, we are defining that the max pooling layer will be 2 into 2 in shape. It will do is that it will create a 22 array of pixels and pick the biggest value. By continuing this process, it will turn 4 pixels into 1 and it repeats this process across the whole image. And by doing this, it will reduce the image shape by 25%. Well, now again, I am defining another one convolution network here and the max pooling function. Then I am flattening the input. And next, I am defining the 128 neurons, and the output in the output layer, I am defining the 10 neurons. Moving on in the next cell, oh, let's run it. Well, in the next cell, I am compiling the model. Uh, here, I am just selecting the optimizer, the atom loss, and the matrix is accuracy. Now, in the next cell, model dot, dot summary. If I run this cell, we can see that what we have defined in in this cell is very much visible in this cell. Now we have to fit this model. I am writing here the training images, comma the training levels, and I am defining the epochs. A five, you can define whatever you want. You can define ten or twelve as your wish. And in the validation section, I am defining test images and the text levels. Now let's run it. Well, I have to select it. Okay, it says that you must compile your model. Well, we have forgot to compile this. Let's compile it. Now next let's again compile it. 
well it start trading you can see that our loss is very much high on the first epoch and the accuracy is very much low as the time is increasing our loss is decreasing and the accuracy is increasing we have to wait a little bit to finish this five epochs so let's wait well as you can see we have finished our training and achieved 92 percent accuracy with 19 percent loss and in the validation we have achieved 91 percent validation accuracy with 25 percent validation loss let's plot them well so if i run this cell okay you can see that the accuracy and the validation accuracy is very much close so we can say that our model is mm, quite well well i'd like to say thanks to mr lawrence morone for the wonderful course on coursera i really learned a lot from him and thank you for watching this video all the necessary files links are in the description box please do check them and don't forget to practice this code in your own machine if you faced any error please let me know thanks again See you guys soon. Stay home, stay safe guys.